non-relational systems are not the only way we can scale data, of course, right? We've been scaling database servers for dozens of years without this non-relational concept. Um, I usually summarize ways to improve performance are three ways. All right, if I have a database server that's running slow, how do I improve it? The first way is tuning and application design, right? We sometimes forget about that because we're so used to throwing hardware resources at a system that, that we just forget, oh yeah, maybe I can actually look and tune this query or build an index or, or redesign the application around how data's cached and where data's stored. But, but that's always going to be, in my opinion, the best way to improve performance, right? Let's have a well-tuned, efficient application that can run on as little hardware as possible. Beyond that, we've always had the ability to vertically scale a database server, right? Vertical scaling, basically that throwing hardware at a system, right? Let's take my one SQL Server instance, and if it's slow, let's just add some memory to it. And if it's still slow, let's add some CPU. And if it's still slow, let's move its data files to all flash disk arrays. And at the end of that process, it's probably faster. Is it fast enough? Maybe. Now, now vertical scaling, is a good option, it's an easy option, but it's extremely expensive. And the more cloud starts to infiltrate our environments, it gets even more expensive. If you've ever gone onto Azure and spun up a Windows VM and looked at the billing profiles for some of those high scale systems, it's, it's ridiculous, like $10,000 a month, right? For a eight CPU server with like 128 gigs of RAM. So vertical scaling, really, really expensive. So horizontal scaling, right? That's a third option. Now, we could horizontally scale with the relational systems. Right? I'm not gonna stand here and tell you that you can't do this with Oracle or MySQL or SQL Server. But the fact of the matter is, it's really, really hard. Right? There's kind of a halfway point here that most relational systems have around table partitioning. That allows you to take one table and split it amongst multiple disks. So that's a good option for balancing I.O but you still have that data living on a single server, right? Um, now, what happens, again, this is one of those fundamental concepts we talked about at the very beginning of the presentation. Big data, I generally refer to it as when, my sing when I can't store data efficiently in a single table, right? That's big data to me. So when that happens, one of the things, horizontal scaling basically means let's take this data, this one table, and split it between multiple servers. Again, you can do that in a relational model. It's just very hard. The application logic is gonna to have to determine where to write data and where to read data. Balancing that data over time gets really difficult. I think Oracle, even in some of their latest versions, has some automated sharding. I just think it's really, really hard in a relational model. 